Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given rational equation. So before we get started, let's focus on this quadratic polynomial over here in the denominator. And we can see that this could be easily factored out. So let's go ahead and factor that one. So the, the possible factors for this quadratic polynomial is going to be x minus 2 times x minus 4. All right. So we're going to leave everything as it is. 2x minus 3 is going to be on the numerator. And on the left hand side, we're going to keep these fraction as it is. 2 over x minus 2 minus 1 over x minus 4. So in the next step, we are going to get rid of these fractions. In order to remove these fractions, let's focus on the denominator. You can see we got a x minus 2 right up here, and we got another x minus 2 over here. Likewise, we have x minus 4 right up here, and we got another x minus Four. So that means the least common denominator, or sometimes we call it least common multiple, is x minus 2 times x minus 4. Here you can see that x minus 2 is showing up twice, so we are going to write it down just once. And likewise, x minus 4 is showing up twice, so we are going to write it just once. And now in the next step, we are going to multiply whatever this least common denominator, x minus 2 times x minus 4, I am going to multiply across the board. Right now I'm going to multiply x minus 2 times x minus 4 with the first fraction. Likewise, x minus 2 times x minus 4 and finally, x minus 2 times x minus 4 across the board. All right, let's now focus on this over here, x minus 2 in the denominator. This cancels out with this one. So we just simply ended up with 2 times x minus 4. Likewise, in the second fraction, x minus 4 is gone with this x minus 4. We are left with negative 1 times x minus 2 equals to, right up here, this x minus 2 is gone with this x minus 2. This x minus 4 cancels out with this x minus 4. So we are just simply left with 2x minus 3. And now in the next step, we are going to distribute over here and likewise over here. So 2 times x minus 4 is going to give us 2x minus 8. And here it's going to give us negative x, negative 1x rather, plus negative 1 times negative 2 is going to give us positive 2 equals to 2x minus 3. Now, let's combine the like terms. 2x minus x is going to make 1x, and then negative 8 and plus 2 is going to make negative 6 equals to 2x minus 3. Now, we are going to combine this one. I'm going to just simply subtract x from both sides. All right, so that means this x and negative x is gone. So we simply ended up with negative 6 equal to 2x minus x is going to make x minus 3. Let's move this negative 3 on the left hand side. So we got negative 6 plus this negative 3 is going to become positive 3 equal to x. So that means x turns out to be negative 3 as our solution. So thus our solution turns out to be x equal to negative 3 and that is our answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.